All right, Shalom Maki May. Y'all about Shamal Shai. Brock a thong to my dear brothers, little mind and sisters out there. Holding this thing down in spirit and in truth, man. Hey, man, before we start, let's give all praise to our God of power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Harakak with Dash. Divine to the apostles and peace of mercy to the elect. Just want to talk about health, you know. Just as the scripture stated, um, a healthy body is esteemed better than riches. You know, in other words, man, and that's uh that's a fact, man. You know, um growing up in this society, man, one of the strong demons that's um over this society is the spirit of gluttony. Everywhere you turn, there's food spots and advertisement all on the TV of food and um as the scriptures say in second edge the sixteenth chapter, the heavenly father uh make the victuals cheap. You can go to get you some, <laughs> you go get you a 50 piece nugget for five bucks and you know, all this, this super easy way of getting all this food for this little amount of money. Thus creating a, um, a bunch of gluttons and a disease and people out here just, just through, they're through, 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 through physically, all right? So, you know, got all type of health problems and everything of the sort. All right. So one of the things that, you know, we practice a part of the re rehearsing the righteous acts. One of the things you practice is you got to take care of your diet. You know, you got to take care of your body, period, you know. And when you're taking care of your body, um, it leaves, it leaves, it, it takes away a lot of space where demons could come at and mess with your mind. Mess with your self-confidence. And a lot of times it takes, brother, and you know, you may, you know, a lot of times it just takes for somebody to talk about health for you to start like, you know what? I do need to get my, I do need to get myself together. I've been telling myself, and then you heard a brother talk about it. Then you was like, you know what? That's the final straw. I'm going to start doing something different for myself, you know? So that's what we do with each other, man. We we encourage each other to take care of, take care of yourself, man. You got to live there. All right, we always talk about uh, the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shai. Meaning that, um, you know, you want to keep it as simple as possible. And why I want demons to mess with you because how you're eating or how you're treating yourself. You know, demons just mess with your mind and able to, to ride your thoughts. You know, but when you when you taking care of your body and you, uh, you know, you're doing the physical health, you know, you may be exercising or you... You are uh, just eating right or you taking supplements and, you know, you're taking the herbs and everything. You feel good about yourself. You feel confident in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. That's a fact. You know, I've had plenty of times where, you know, I wasn't, I got on the pattern of not, you know, eating right or just not exercising or something. And I felt like a fucking, I just felt like a turd, man. And when I was like that, I, I remember those demons that be just, they have their way with your mind. And really, it'll just be you not taking care of yourself. <laughs> Opening up those, those, those room, that room for demons to fuck with your mind, man. You know? So we know that the Lord Yahweh, the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, you know, they have the law of diet, the dietary law. It, it goes to show you that the Father is, He's with taking care of your temple. You know? Even the scripture as it stated in Corinthians, um, he that destroyed his temples shall the heavenly father destroy. So the father is with taking care of your temple. He's with that. And he wants you to do that. Even in the book of Timothy, it says, um, bodily exercise, profit of little, but you know, a profit of little. So we know that, you know, if exercise and profit, profit, if, and it ain't, even, you know, certain brethren like to go to the gym or, you know, brethren like to, Certain brother get together and work out, whatever, you know, however brothers do it. But, you know, just simply doing something for yourself at the house is a lot too, you know? Simply doing some straight squats or something or, you know, push-ups or, you know, just... If you're able-bodied at the same time, it goes for those who are able-bodies and who, who, are, who are able to do it and just being lazy about it or, you know, just... You ain't got to be a fanatic, it's just the body... The bodies that the Heavenly Father uh, put us in, these bodies right here that we're in right now, um, 
they get stronger when you put them through stress. You know, they make you feel better. They release. It's a. It's a. Um, it's a chemical called endorphins. You know, I believe it's called, which makes you feel good, which makes the body, makes the mind feel good and feel confident and feel good about itself. When you when you put the body in the in the in stress, you know. You pushing it, you know. And like I said, you ain't got to go all extreme. Just doing something matters. That's it. To 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 build your confidence with the Lord, you know what I mean. To build your confidence with the Lord and to be and to uh to have that that spirit of boldness about you. You know what I'm saying. So yeah, I just kind of want to talk about it just a little bit. You know, just not you know. Just to, just to remind brethren, you know, make sure to take care of your body and stuff because that's what you, like we like to say out here, uh, <clears throat> it's from Friday, but um, when he said, I got to live here, you don't. <laughs> and that's what it is. We say that in, the, in a funny way of saying it, our bodies, we got to live here. You, you got to live there. We don't, you see? And shit, hey, if you want to, live live in a fucking a house on fire or a house in a house with mad inflammation because in a in a in a in the curses the heavenly father said he's gonna hit us with inflammation you see so if you ain't take care of your body you're gonna have all different type of inflammation just tearing you up making you have make you making you feel bad all type of different um emotions of of nastiness you know so yeah man like i said man sometimes it's just about hearing it you you start getting yourself back into that groove so yeah man take care of your temple take care of your body you know uh stress your you know put your body in some some type of stress some type of workout and um monitoring your monitoring your eating and not just putting anything in your mouth not too many oils too many oils the 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 American diet is death by oil and sugar. That's that's the American diet. Death by oil and sugar. You know? So you want to start um, eliminating oils and sugars and replacing it with more uh, fruits and vegetables and just creating a pattern. You know? Creating a pattern for yourself. And this is just to keep you all, at the end of the day, we're getting new bodies in the twinkling of an eye. Yahweh Shai gonna come back and save us and heal us and everything. But in the meantime, while we're here in these flesh and this flesh and gotta be in these God for this God forsaken world, you wanna keep it simple as possible, man. You want your confidence to be high in the Lord. You wanna have that boldness in the Lord. And part of that comes by taking care of your body and your spirit, man. Yahweh Shai Brakatham. Hope that was edifying to whatever, brother. Shalom.